and Casey's going to be joining me in just a few minutes, um, so we'll wait a little bit for her. Um, but today we're going to be talking about home workstation ergonomics. So that's something that's probably um, pretty prevalent for a lot of you right now. We have a ton of people that are working from home, um, and maybe your home work setup is um, has been kind of difficult for you. Maybe it's given you a little bit of pain in some ways. Um, so we'll kind of talk through some things that um, you can do to kind of modify your workstation. So we'll just wait a couple minutes um, for some people to join the session here, for Casey to join us. Um, so if you guys um, want to say hello, please comment. If you have any questions at all during the session, um, you know, please put them in the comments. We'll be checking the questions and we'll try to answer as many as we can. So while we're waiting, I'm actually probably a pretty unfamiliar face for a lot of you, so I'll just kind of introduce myself a little bit. I joined the physical family about two months ago. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania originally, the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area. So for those of you that are familiar with the show The Office, uh, you know it takes place in Scranton, Pennsylvania. So that's uh, it's kind of our claim to fame. It's my hometown. Um, so I went to a small school in Northeast Pennsylvania. Um, completed my undergrad degree in business administration with a specialization in sport management, and then I went on to get my doctorate in physical therapy there. So then I uh, moved down to Maryland just in time for a global pandemic to break out, and uh, now here we are. So excited to be here. And, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions, please, please feel free to comment. Casey looks like she's just about ready. So we are live. So All here's right. Casey. Hi everyone. My name is Casey Miller. I'm physical so therapist funny. here. Uh, I'm sure Ashley did introductions um, at physical here in Rockville. So today we wanted to go over some ergonomics. Um, you know, and I know a lot of people are working from home now. And then even just to go over good mechanics while we're sitting. We might even get into some good mechanics while we're standing, but mostly kind of focus, focusing on um, how to get your body in a good position um, to keep you essentially unloaded, um, allowing your body to be more efficient when you're working at home. Okay, so yeah, so let's um, let's talk for a second about why good ergonomics is important. Um, so first of all, what is that word? What does that mean? Mm -hmm. um, so really, ergonomics is the way that we set up our workstation and interact with it um, so that we kind of minimize the risk of harming our bodies. Um, and we can maximize how efficient we are working. Um, so this is definitely important, um, especially uh, in terms of a home workstation, in terms of posture. Um, so Casey, do you want to touch on why you know good posture is so important for us? Yeah, you know, it's everybody um, is designed differently, you know, and it's also, um, you know, when you think of posture, posture is going to be different for everybody. And I think when we're working and when we're moving, whether we're, you know, we're picking up um, a shoe from the floor, we want to really just maintain good alignment to help reduce, you know, kind of risk of injuries. But then um, when we're at home working, it's being able to put our body in a good alignment specific to our body type. You know, some individuals are six foot tall, some individuals are five foot tall, or, you know, so it's how can we get into a particular position to allow us to work um, with less discomfort and, and pain. And so, um, and then today we'll, we'll address that and go over that. So, yeah, so, yeah. yeah definitely different for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think what we see a lot um, is that so many people, when they're working on a computer, they get pulled into this really awful slumped posture. Their head is forward, their shoulders are rounded. Um, that could cause a lot of problems, you know, neck, back pain, can give you headaches. Um, can cause problems at the shoulder joint, so really just a lot of you know things that we kind of want to avoid. Um, so let's right. get started. Yeah. Um, so um, if this is a good position, we can kind of take a look at Ashley here, how she's sitting. So at home, um, you know, some people may have a desk chair, they may not. Um, there's different types of chairs too, and depending on how a chair is designed, a table is designed, whether it's high or low really want to design the space specific to your needs. So the space itself is not most likely not going to be perfect, 
but how can we use things that we have at home um, to get our body into a better position. So I'm actually going to change this computer here so we can get a little bit more of a side angle of Ashley. All right, cool. So at home, you know, um, can we see if there's people on? Okay. So if you have this chair here, so this doesn't have armrests, and we're taking a look at Ashley here. Um, you know, looking at her posture of, you know, is she what we're particularly looking for? And there's a couple things that we kind of need to address because when you think um, about where we need to put our posture, um, the knees here, you know, you want it at about, a, say, a hundred degree flexion here. So what we might, yep, um, what we might need to do is. Because as, as we, you know, some chairs are lower, some are higher. So depending on the height of the chair, it will either bring our knee up or bring it down. And as we bring our knee up, that kind of forces it, us into a little bit more of the slouch position, right? So we get a little bit more flexion into here. So what we want for her, I would say that is not too bad. But you can use at home, so say... The chair is a little bit higher. You can use some hooks for your feet. If the book happens to be a little bit too high, you can also use pillows. So it's it's finding what works for your body type and the setup that you have at home for the desk that you're using and the chair that you're using. But I'd say for her, that actually looks pretty good. And then also kind of uh, talk about you know making sure that our knees aren't crossed. Okay, because once the if they are crossed you know, sitting in a figure four position or kind of just bringing the leg over, it puts a little bit more rotational strain into your back. So we want our knee to come straight up from this little bone here and then our knee to be over our second foot. So she looks pretty good there. She must have been practicing. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit about uh, something called the rule of 90s um, when you're sitting at a desk. So what you kind of want is um, your hips, your knees, and your elbows to all be at around 90 degrees. Um, you know, again, it's person specific and everyone has a different body type, but in general, that's kind of a good rule to remember. Mm -hmm. Good point. Definitely good point. Yeah. All right, so we try and take a look at the knees, then we go up into the hip. Now, she is actually doing pretty good here. Um, because I think she kind of knows what's <laughs> going on here. But if we kind of go into that bot, that the not so good posture, we get a little bit more of this rounding. And we want to think that, you know, we think of a lot of gimmicks or they say lumbar support, lumbar support, lumbar support. But I say we do sacral support. And in order to um, get this pelvis to be in a more neutral position, so you don't want to fully tilt forward or fully tilt back, we have to find that middle part, right? So that's going to be a neutral position for us. So one thing that we can do and that you can do at home is take a um, bath towel or a kitchen towel, right? So I, I, I brought one from my house, and you can take this and kind of roll it up. Because one thing that we should talk about is we don't want to be sitting on what's known as your ischial tuberosities. We want to be sitting on the pelvic floor. We want to create this good solid base between the core. So a lot of times we have these little butt bones kind of in this backside, and if you're in a chair kind of rolling forward and rolling back, you're kind of go over a bump. And that bump is that ischial tuberosity. We don't want to be on that bump. We want to be kind of slightly forward to that bump. And if we're in that flex position here, right, that's going to put us in a position not allowing our core to be automatically activated. So if we're more in that neutral position, we can have this automatic engagement of the core, which will help us be more efficient when we're you know, typing on the computer in the seated position. And then we can also bring that to when we're standing, um, reaching into the cupboard. But having good alignment will help us with these things. All right, so we can take this towel, like I was talking about, and if you're kind of in that slump position, putting this towel just, so we have these ischial tuberosities, these little butt bones here, and we can put it just behind, and that almost forces us to have that good sacral support. So now I feel a little bit better and a little bit more efficient in, um, where, where I'm sitting. 
So I would say this is a good tool that you can try. Okay, and like I said, everyone's different. So it may not work for everybody, but these are just different options that you can do at home and find what helps keep your body balanced the best. So if we take this little towel here, and kind of stick it here, good. And I'm gonna kind of bring it forward a little bit. Good. Yep, so nice neutral pelvis. It really, um, like yeah. you said, it kind of forces you to engage your core muscles a little bit too. Um, it doesn't really let me slump quite as much, and it's kind of like a nice tactile reminder too for me to sit up tall. Yeah. Um, so yeah. that's that's definitely a good thing to have. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a nice little prop. So I would say kind of starting there. Um, it seems as though your heels have come up. Uh, <laughs> they have, yes. Yeah, so feet flat on the We all have our habits, huh? <laughs> that's okay. right. Uh, all right. Very good. Yep. Okay. So then kind of working, working up is, you know, you see, we want to support the body. And I don't know, you can see my hand kind of going here. It's really not up against the back of the chair here. So what we can do to get some support in through the lumbar thoracic spine, and really her neck is kind of exposed. But if we can get good support in the bottom, that'll help support the top a little bit. Um, unfortunately, we don't have, you know, a recliner here, or kind of a higher elevated chair, but we can talk about how you can use props to support your, your cervical spine as well. So for her, what I'd like to do to get some lumbar support, um, and there's different products out there, you know, but I, what we want to kind of do today is just using things that we probably have at home. This is a beach towel, so you can use it to help support your body, and then obviously you can use it while you're at the beach, which is always <laughs> nice. But what we're going to do to the towel is we're going to roll it up similar to what we did for this towel. Right, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna have to go to the floor here and roll it up, but put it in a nice little roll. So it looks like this. There we go. Good. And I don't want it to be so thin that it actually becomes more of a kind of isolated mobilization to one segment. We want it to be a little bit thicker, and we're gonna put it right in the arch of her low back here. Right? And we're gonna kind of tuck it here. And then here, we're going to use the sides to kind of bring it up along the thoracic spine, and we can lump them over her shoulders or just kind of put it in the back of the chair. So that's going to help give her thoracic, or, I'm sorry, thoracic support and lumbar support as she's working hard at her <laughs> computer desk. Yeah, so that that's something, I mean, that feels really good. I feel supported. I feel like um, it's forcing me to sit up straight. Um, you know, again, being able to kind of use that core to... Um, this just puts me in a really good, nice, neutral position. Um, so posture looks pretty good here. Mm -hmm. so. And it looks stylish. And it's a very stylish. Lots of styles. <laughs> go to the beach when you're done. Yeah, which is, yeah, uh, I mean, it would be nice to go to the beach soon. Right. right. So, okay. Um, all right. So I think we kind of covered what we can kind of cover, kind of the down and then, you know, from the knees, coming to the hip, up into the spine here. Yeah. But there's still some other things kind of going on and looking at, you know, when she's actually on the computer. Computer. So I see this huge gap in through here and when you think of let's put herself in good good alignments Let's give our body the, the best opportunity to be efficient and effective You know, we want to make sure that we're getting that support And when you're thinking of different segments here, you want to support Proximal to distal. So what that means is I want to get the support close to her stomach here so just above the elbow and then supporting proximal to distal. So proximal is close to here, distal is further away. All right, so a couple options that you can use to do that. Um, you can use pillows at home, um, you know, even eventually as if you go into the office, if you don't want to carry pillows to your work, you can use a jacket, you can use a sweat, sweatshirt, um, you know, something that's going to be comfortable. But what we'll use here, different things that we have, um, we can use these pillows and bring this here on her lap. Here doesn't quite work yet. There's still a little bit of spacing here that you can see that I can put my hand through. So let's try another one. Let's see how that feels for her. So it's pretty good. Speak up a little bit louder. Oh sure. Yeah. Yep. Sorry if you can't hear me. Apologize. So with the two pillows seems to work for Ashley here. You might have to play around. Maybe one pillow works for you. 
Um, it just depends on the height of your desk and then the, the type of chair that you're using. So I would say start with one pillow and see if you're getting the pillow touching your arm, okay, all the way up from the proximal side to the distal side. If one pillow works, great. If not, and you're still having that spacing, try two. Okay. Yep, so this feels pretty good. I feel nice and cozy and uh, it's giving me a little bit of, you know, deep pressure can be a little bit relaxing. Yeah, she just <laughs> so needs a hot good. chocolate yeah, and uh, <laughs> she'd be set to go. That's right. Yes. Um, All right. Very good. Okay, so that looks good in terms of my posture. Um, was there anything else you wanted to touch on in terms of that before we get into kind of the monitor and the keyboard and all that? Um, no, I think that looks pretty good. Sounds good. Yeah. I agree. All mm -hmm. right. So I'm going to take these out just for a second. Um, Good question. Yeah. And then I'll... Okay. So let's, um, let's talk for a second about your monitor. Where should that be? Um, you know, how does that differ if you're working from a desktop versus a laptop? Um, so general rule of thumb want your monitor to be at about eye level or maybe slightly below. So laptops are kind of a physical therapist nightmare a little bit um, because what they do, they force you to be looking down most of the time. They also, with the keyboard, they force you to close down that posture and kind of lean forward. Um, so good news is they have um, kind of devices out there that are called laptop kickstands. Um, they're not real expensive. You can maybe get one on Amazon for $30, $40 or so. Um, and what they do, it's basically a stand that actually elevates your laptop. So you can put it right on your desk, you put the laptop on top of the stand, and then boom, your screen is right at that nice eye level. So in terms of a desktop, if you're working from a desktop and you find that, um, you know, that monitor is either too high or maybe it's too low, you can do one of two things. The monitor's too low, you can go ahead and take some textbooks and just stack them underneath that monitor. So that's, yeah, yeah, definitely. So just so you can see it at home, we have some textbooks here of anatomy. Yeah, so that actually, that's perfect. So what that did is put that monitor um, kind of right at eye level, it's just slightly below, so I don't feel like I have to to look down and be straining my neck um, and closing down my posture just to be looking at the monitor. So, so that's really good. Um, so you could do that with your desktop computer. Um, you know, you could do that with your laptop too if you don't want to go out and purchase that that kickstand. Um, uh, if your monitor's too high, so what you'll need to do then is kind of um, think about maybe raising your chair up. You can put cushions on your chair to raise your height up, um, but really you want that monitor right to be in your in your direct line of sight. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. Maybe we can show them what that would look like. So if we had a really high monitor here. What Ashley had said is yeah, so that's that's pretty high for me, and I, I kind of feel like I'm maybe, you know, almost looking upwards a little bit. That's pretty uncomfortable for my neck. Mm -hmm. um, so what we want to do here, I'm just going to take these out for a second, is kind of raise myself up rather than, um, you know, lowering the monitor. Yeah. And then so, yeah, that's good. So what you can use, you can use pillows, you can use couch cushions. If this is more of, um, you know, a long-term working from home thing, they do sell cushions on Amazon that are that are kind of made for this sort of thing. Um, so what I did, even just with the one pillow, that puts me in a little bit of a better position. So I kind of feel like I'm not, you know, looking up or looking down. So so that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. That's a great, great tip that you can use at home. So whether you're too low or too high, you know, using props to adjust your body to the workspace is kind of what you need to do in these particular situations when you're kind of stuck working at your kitchen table or a countertop or, you know, if you just don't unfortunately have an office um, space at home. But even if you do have an office space at home, you know, putting your body in good mechanics and proper alignment and nice posture will help reduce a lot of the forces being applied to the body so it's less kind of achy and painful when you're working at home. So um, another thing that we should probably touch on is um, if you do have a laptop, you're probably going to want to get a keyboard and a mouse. Um, so again, you know, you go ahead and elevate that, that laptop and it's that screen's right at eye level and it looks really nice. What you don't want is to kind of be typing up here. That's not good. We want those elbows to stay at about 90 degrees. So one of the best things you can do 
is get yourself a keyboard. Um, the keyboard on a laptop is usually pretty small. It forces you to kind of close down your posture and maybe strain forward a little bit. So the best thing that you can have, they make wireless keyboards, they're not expensive, um, or you can get one that just plugs right into the USB port. Just have a keyboard there for you and have a mouse. So that's, um, that's that definitely sense. important. Um, in terms of the mouse also, um, and this goes for really anything that you use frequently throughout your day, you want it to be close to your body. So I don't want to have to reach all the way out here when I'm using my mouse. Um, that's just going to force me to put you know, unnecessary stress and strain on, on certain parts of my body, my neck, my back. So if you use your stapler all the time, for instance, you're going to want to have that right next to you, kind of within, you know, easy reach. Um, and then those objects that maybe you use less frequently, um, you know, if you only use your printer a couple times a day, that's something that you can put a little bit further away. Um, you know, if you have to stand up and go get things, that's okay too. It'll give you a nice, a nice break throughout the day. I think we definitely covered a lot of different options that you can do at home to help with your mechanics and your and your pit, posture and your and, and your um, different things that you could do while you're working at home. So, um, if any of you end up trying these particular tips, um, please comment about. And if you have particular questions too, uh, we would love to you know help everyone just be more efficient when they're working. I'm sure the you know company that you work for would appreciate that as well. Um, but it'll help kind of keep your body in more of a relaxed, unloaded position, so there's less kind of aches and pains as you're working from home, um, you know, even sitting, kind of watching TV, just paying attention to alignment and posture is always very important. So. Anything else? No, I, I think so. For next week. Um, so next week we're going to be doing um, another Facebook Live video, and it's going to be about um, some of the things that are out there um, that you can kind of do at home. Um, so, you know, a lot of people are, are kind of maybe getting a little bit bored of watching some Netflix. Um, mm. And, you know, maybe it's time to get a little bit creative. So we've, we've seen a lot of really good things out there. So we're going to be doing a Facebook Live video on that. Um, we're also going to be doing um, a recorded video on some seated core exercises. So these are exercises that are really safe that you can do in a chair um, to strengthen that core. So, so keep an eye out for those next week. That sounds great. Yeah, so. All right. Um, again, if you guys ever have any questions, we're here to help. So, you know, please comment um you know if you if you want to give us a call that's fine and uh we're here to help all right thank you everyone thank you bye guys all right bye bye